Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 3 The Kindred, where you'll notice we will have uh, reloaded to before we processed the drunk guy and sent him through here. And that's because you guys pointed out that I had, of course, seen the, uh, the breathalyzer machine before and commented on it in this room before, but completely forgot it was here. Um, I think it's this one, the gas chromatograph. This machine measures the blood alcohol content of breath samples. So, I, I just had a feeling that if we didn't do this, it would come back to bite us. So step over here, sir, now. Oh my god, how do we use this? You turn on the gas chromatograph. Okay, let's, um... I want you to blow as hard as you can into this tube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, is, is that all we have to do? Is it literally a switch it on and... Do that thing? What, what's going on here? Why is it... Oh, do we just take that? According to this, your blood alcohol level is 0.15. That is well over the legal limit. I'll have to book you. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. So maybe we actually needed that in hindsight because it. I guess we had no proof that he was drunk before when we processed him. I, I mean, I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. It, it could well not be, but um, I don't know. I just don't want to take any risks in uh, Police Quest games. So um, do, do we need to... Do we need to put that somewhere? Oh, where did... Okay, so does it just automatically submit that? Yeah, maybe it does. Okay, um, what are we booking this fine citizen for anyway? Uh, it was, I think, 23152 I had written down, so... There we go. Go on, mate, off you go. So yeah, I mean, maybe that was just for points or something, I, I, I don't know. Um, Hot Lava Tube said that he thought it might have just been for points, but I just don't want to take the risk. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Hope the rest of your patrol is less exciting. Okay, and now we get this cutscene. Okay, 1832. It's like I said before, this is like half an hour before we process the criminal. In fact, nearly, th nearly 40 minutes. Also, I've been told to search around the police station again next time we go there. Apparently, I might have missed something, so we'll do that. <gasps> I didn't see you had a little knife there before. I mean, it... I'll be honest, it really looks like they stab her. And I, d I don't know if that means, like, that that's actually what's happened. I, d I don't know if that cutscene can go numerous ways based on what you've done. I'm not sure. But anyway, please call dispatch at once. Now, um, I think if I remember right, dispatch is the button on the phone back at the office, right? I mean, it's, the, the office is literally here. Uh, it's locked. So let's open up this bad boy. Take our gun. And then we'll shut that. Uh, yeah, so I think, uh, do, do we go through here? Evidence, alright, nice, so it must be, just press the button, alright, I'm gonna press the button. Likes to give a sarcastic response, doesn't it? I cannot remember what is on any of the floors, except for the fact that I think IT is on the top floor, and that's where we got the computer card from. Uh, so, let's go to just, oh, this is the shower room, isn't it? This is the one with the shower. All right, let's just let's just have a look around and see what I missed. Fire extinguisher. So that's the men's room. Do we need to put our things back in our locker? Potentially we do, like our gun and stuff. So yeah, maybe we do. Although we're not. No, we. Do, I don't because we're we're not on duty. Oh, sorry, we're not off duty, are we? Window overlook scenic downtown. Uh, the daughter's storage closet. Did we look in here before? The storage closet? Honestly, don't remember. Oh, I don't think we did. There's an open box of batteries. You take some batteries. You have plenty of batteries. Uh, cluttered with boxes. Nothing in that box you need. What's this? Box of road flares. You take some flares. You have plenty of flares. Cluttered with boxes. Okay, so we got batteries and flares now i don't know if that's what i supposedly missed before 
or whether there's something entirely different batteries and flares i mean it, it could be that we weren't supposed to take these things and then of course the game will be like you stole from the storage closet so you get a game over um which i'm hoping won't happen but given my track record could well happen so yeah i'm assuming we don't go to the the locker room i mean it might be that we do this is our office here right sergeant's office hey that's us so let's go in and call dispatch and then we'll just see what happens after that i guess i don't think unless we can get something out of those other offices as well maybe we'll try that um computer it's an indispensable tool phone uh yeah not there in out basket is empty okay so let's just have a look at the computer quickly okay yeah so that's obviously where we put the card somewhere in here computer access card and the power switch we don't have to touch the monitor it seems all right well let's let's start off by ringing dispatch uh okay Respond to an assault at the 300 block off East Rose, the Oak Tree Mall. Ah, okay, so that is the Marie thing. Okay, so, um, all right, well, it says to respond, so I guess, I guess we just do that straight away. Uh, come on, there we go. Uh, so, the mall. Let's, uh, let's get our map handy because again it's probably going to be a case of me trying to figure out how the hell we get to this place so we've got um we've got to get to the mall off of something and something uh, do you know what i don't think the mall's on this map highway court coroner hospital oh, it's not as well uh what was it, it said was it did it say rose and fifth uh I honestly don't know what it said. It's a bit annoying. I think it said Rose and Fifth off the top of my head. But, um, I don't know. Uh, let us jump into the car. Okay, 1830. Why have we gone back in time? What is going on? We've, we've literally gone back in time. Okay, so 18... This this doesn't make any sense, The time, like the time, honestly. Um, let's pop a save here. And we'll just call it, like, off to the mall or something. Uh, to the mall. What, what I want to do is... Um, I think I'm going to reload this one. Just grab the uh, the phone call again just to see where the mall was I, I thought the map would have it marked in the the manual but it doesn't but you know whatever will only take you know 30 seconds or something to to do this if i click the right button that is It's quite funny, you have to pick the receiver up as well before you press the button. <laughs> uh, at the 300 block of East Rose. What on earth is the 300 block of East... Oh, I see. Right, so it's... It's like 300E, which is like one, two lines across from Aspen Falls. So we basically want to like... Okay, I, th I think I know where we're going. Fine. To the mall. Uh, so we're going southbound on 6th at the moment, uh, which is actually good. So we want to take a left when we can. So now we're going east eastbound on Rose. So it should be along here somewhere. So this is Rose and 7th. So it's... 300 like rose 300 which is like ninth i think we're going really slowly so it should be like just along here i believe unless oak tree mall okay so does that mean here 
Uh, still say an oak tree more right. So, so do we just get out? Maybe, maybe we just get out. Let's, let's turn that off. There's no reason to get out here. What? I mean, it, it still says oak tree. What? That is odd. I, I don't know if it sort of glitched there with the positioning of the oak tree mall thing. Anyway, we want to hit a right again here. I can only assume that was a glitch. Maybe we just stop as soon as it comes out of the oak tree mall thing. Ninth. So it should be like any minute now, I think. Right, Oak Tree Mall, it's it. It's gone again. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh God. The first thing that strikes you is that the car belongs to Marie. Then you see the paramedics working over a body. Panic begins to overwhelm you as you race to the ambulance. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no, you think this just can't be, not Marie. Jeez, okay. Right, let's uh let's save. Oh no. This is not good. Ambulance. So yeah, she did get stabbed. You try waking her, but she doesn't respond. We're ready if if you're going, you better climb in, officer. Hang on, I wanted to have a There was something I'm gonna reload. There was something she was holding. No, I, d I. Can can we grab that? You ah, see, you remove what appears to be a chain from Marie's hand. Looking at the broken chain, you think Marie must have pulled this from the attacker's neck, and you ponder the thought. I just wonder if something else was on this chain. God, it doesn't give you long to do that, does it? It's lucky that I saw that. You jump in the ambulance and blah blah blah. Marie is rushed to Lytton General Emergency, where doctors begin the race to save her life. They work through the night, fighting to stabilise Marie's condition. Sunny spends hours of agony in the waiting room. Although they manage to save her life, Marie remains in a coma. Oh no. When he's finally allowed to see her, Sunny holds her hand until the pre-dawn hours, hoping and searching for some sign that she'll come back to him. Wow, I wasn't expecting this to happen. God, we're at 4.12 now, okay. Officer Bonds, I'm Dr. Dr. Wagner, the resident neurosurgeon. I'm sorry to say that your wife's condition is still quite serious. She's suffering from internal injuries sustained from the multiple stab wounds. Okay, why is his face moving so quickly? <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> How long she will remain in a coma is anyone's guess. In my experience, the presence of a loved one urging the patient back from that void is an incalculable asset. We're doing all we can for her physically, but you might be the only one who can reach her now. Sergeant Bonds, you look beat. You really should go home and try to get some rest. There's nothing to be done for your wife right now. We can all feel good about the fact that Marie is alive. Okay, uh... A save then. Yeah, so it seems as though like that thing in her hand was a clue. Um, which is... I mean, I, I don't know if you can like get it later. So where the doctor hangs the patient's chart. Can we look at that? No. Your beloved wife lies motionless in a coma. You wish there was some way to know what she was thinking. If she's thinking. Uh, can we talk to her? Marie, please come back, baby. I can't go on without you. You fight to pull yourself together. Oh, no. I've got to go now, babe. You need your rest. It's been a rough night. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look at some of these things. Digital readout indicates Marie's IV dosage. The EKG, uh, EKG monitor registers your wife's vital signs. It's a steady beep in response to her pulse gives you some small comfort. Okay, fine. All right, well, um, I guess let's head off. 
I suppose back home. Fine. All right. Well, let's um, let's go. How do we get out? I'll oh, get the bastard who did this, babe. I swear it. I mean, I hope we do. As a fellow officer drives you back to your car at the mall, you fight to focus your rage, grief, and sense of violation into something you can live with. Okay, so we're going back to the mall, I guess, to get our car. We should pro uh, what you end up with is a burning desire to find and crucify the slime that hurt your wife. Yeah, slime. Somebody out there picked the wrong man to mess with. That's right. You don't mess with Sonny Bonds. Okay, we're back. This guy looks like a detective. Looks like another one bit the dust, eh? I understand you were here before they removed the victim. Did you catch any dying words? Notice any signs of sexual assault? Anything at all? Who is this guy? Responding to your silence, the reporter says, Well, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just get the information elsewhere. Oh, I see, he's a reporter. All right then, well, I'll tell you what guys, we are uh, done for this episode because we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone, and I'll see you next time.